it's gonna get better, right? <laughs> well, we're messy. You're messy. I'm messy. <laughs> we're gonna get a closet makeover. Yeah, I don't think I'm a hoarder, but I definitely hoard a lot of clothes. Like I like to collect items. Like I'm like, ugh, I'm a glutton for glamour. Literally walks around in a blanket. <laughs> <laughs> this is how I was walking around in my house before you guys got here. For me, I really need a better system on how to organize my closet because we travel a lot and I kind of like take everything out of my suitcase, throw it in my closet, and then I take everything out of my closet, throw it in my suitcase, and I don't know where anything is at. My whole thing is like, sometimes I'll be going through my closet and I forget that I own this like sweater. I'm like, <gasps> like, oh my God, and I get really happy. I would like to not forget what I own. But today we invited a professional organizer, straightened up by Janelle. Hi, I'm Janelle Elian, founder of Straighten Up by Janelle, and I'm a professional organizer. So I've always been super organized and super OCD. After doing favors for friends and family, I just kind of fell into organizing. I posted before and afters on social media and I haven't stopped ever since. I really love professional organizing because it's not just a physical transformation of people's space. It's also a really emotionally transformative experience. I think there's a misconception about who hires a professional organizer. People think that it's just hoarders or super, super messy people. But really I would say most of my clients are actually very organized people. They just need a system set up so that they can stay organized and keep up with their fast paced lifestyle. I'm really, really excited to get my hands on Curly and Maya's closets. I think they're kind of nervous and they're kind of scared that it's going to be a super crazy big project, but I think it's going to be really fun and I think the transformation is going to be incredible. So here we have Janelle! <laughs> Hi guys! <laughs> so what are we going to do today? So today we're going to focus on your closet yes. and the goal is that you can see exactly what you have. We're going to make sure you want to keep everything, so we're going to pull everything out. You're going to see what you have. If you have a billion of the same thing, maybe just keep your favorites. <laughs> Then we're oh, going to put favorites. it all back in. We're going to redesign the whole space okay. so that you have a whole room closet and I it's going that. to be your aesthetic. I was like, yeah, I'm so excited to get like my closet organized and then I'm like, she's going to like throw everything out. No, we're going to make sure that what you're keeping makes sense to keep. So if something doesn't fit you, then we'll figure out a solution. So either we'll sell it or we'll donate it. You can give it to someone who you think will love it. So step one, we're going to go to the space. I want to come up with goals and be on the same page, come up with a game plan, and then we'll take some before pictures and then we'll get going. Sound I feel good? like we're talking about my life and not a closet. <laughs> I'm like, yes, I think they, they go hand in hand. <laughs> so this is closet number one. This is closet number one. So these are all kind of clothes that I I want to at some point sell or okay. that I just don't wear that often. Actually, these are some of the items that I can't part with either, to be honest. Oh, the bottom is like where all of my dirty clothes go. I've been like a sober person for like four years. Right. So like sometimes your addiction kind of changes forms. Mm -hmm. And so my addiction is clearly clothing now, but one. right now I'm super into like hoodies and crew necks. So these are all my hoodies and my crew necks. The only thing is that they are now stacking way too high in my closet. Yeah, so like what would you do if you had to get that yellow one? Um, I have a little step ladder, but I do like this whole thing where I like, you know, kind of pull it out and then when I need to put something on top, I like throw it up there. Yeah. Well, that's so inconvenient. I'm sure there's some that have fallen back that you they haven't have, been able right. to wear. Tell me about your shoes, because right now I see that the shoes are all down here. I usually wear like traditional Mexican mm -hmm. huaraches. I think, and the goal will be that we make this your shoe rack up okay. here so that all your shoes are displayed and we're going to bring these down and build new shelves for them. Okay. Let's talk about the hangers for just a hot sec. Yeah, so those are all hangers that I've stolen from my mom's house. Right, and do you like the plastic? I don't like them. It's just something that I've never invested in because I always thought like, oh, like nice hangers are probably really expensive. And what and have we learned? Are they expensive? They're not expensive. They're not. <laughs> Amazon basics. Yeah, so we're going to switch all the hangers and then we'll keep some of these wood ones. I know you okay. really like the wood look, so yeah. we'll keep those for the heavier jackets. And then the goal will be to have this bottom clear so that you can just have your hamper. You can easily see what's dirty. Maybe even have a space for your travel bags. Okay, let's see the other closet. All right. Tell me about this room. So that rack is actually all the items that I wear on the regular. Okay. Do you like having them in here versus in your closet in your bedroom? Do you find that when you wake up in the morning, you're going to get ready? This is your go-to yeah. moment? Mm -hmm. This okay. is where I like, there's like a mirror in here. Okay. My t-shirts are in there. My pants are in here. Mm -hmm. My jackets and my button downs that I wear are here. So let's talk about what we have in here right now. Okay. And then also let's look at this. Let's look at all of it. Those are all of my jackets and my coats. Okay. But these are all coats that I wear all the time too. Okay. And then like more of like the old me is like in the back. So I used to be super into like faux fur. Okay. Well, we're going to pull it all out, so. Yes. <laughs> now let's look in the drawers. So you said this is your pants. So those are like my slacks. 
These drawers are kind of ah. Yeah, because there's so, so much stuff in there. So we're going to switch it when we do store these, uh -huh. and we're going to fold them in a way where you can see all of them. So instead of them being like one on top of the other, we're going to file fold them Okay. Like Marie Kondo. And then t-shirts are in are here. T-shirts are all in this thing. Yeah. The only thing is that this is the only way that it opens. It's kind of like complicated to get in and out and see what it is right. that you want. But I was like, it comes with a really cool mirror. Oh, that's cool. Well, I'm thinking that we'll take all your shirts out. We're going to do shelving here. Okay. So we'll do your shirts and we'll do your crew necks. We'll do some baskets for the bags. And then maybe we'll even move this piece between the shelves or on one side. Okay. We're gonna switch up this rack so it's double the height okay. and not the width, so it can take up less room, maybe even right here. Okay. And then maybe we'll have that there and we can maybe put your pants in it or I don't know, we'll do something cool with it and then you can actually have the, use the mirror. Those are pieces it. that people have like brought back for me or like have made. This is like a Latino artist designer that made that for me. Uh, those are just kind of like pieces that I just like, like to look at. Okay, so it's not for function. It's not like you're prepping outfits or anything. It's yeah. more, you just, you like to see the Yeah, I'm on. like, there you are. Yeah. Oh, okay, well, you ready to get going? No. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> okay, so let's set this one up here. It's the rack. Basically what you're gonna do is I'm gonna hand you something. Uh -huh. You're gonna tell me if you like it, you don't like it, you wanna keep it, you don't wear it all the time. And then if we're gonna keep it, we're gonna put it on here, switch the hanger. Okay. And anything you're not sure of, we're gonna do a maybe pile and anything to donate or sell, we're gonna okay. put there. So this is actually a 1940s piece that my dad got me. And it's not really my type of thing. Does but it fit you? It does fit me, so but I like, it? I wear it, no. But it's like a sentimental thing because so my dad. So we're gonna we'll do a sentimental pile, okay. but not in the everyday clothes pile. Beautiful. Okay. These are like suits that I wear. This I wear all the time. Okay. Everyone's hey. doing a great job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? What are these shirts? Oh, these are my dad's shirts. What are you doing here? <laughs> wow. So those can go in a different pile. Okay, so then I have like a whole section of like blazers. Okay. So these are like all blazers. These you love? I'll make sure you love all of them. We're not just gonna put them back in a group. Yes. Okay. So these are all loves. Look at suits, suit world over there. We love it. We, we stand a good suit. I love a good blazer. Do you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this I like live for. This is like my like living single moment. Great. Take the hanger off. I haven't worn it yet. I haven't had the right opportunity. But you love it. But I love it, die for it. Okay, okay this one I haven't worn in forever, but it's like houndstooth. It's okay, if you haven't worn it in forever. But it's house. Does it serve you? No. It's house. But you don't wear it. This one I bought, it's a vintage one, but I haven't worn it either. Bye. Ugh, it's so cute. Say bye. I worry though with some items, like I'm like, what if I need to go to like a proper wedding and I need like right. a- Right, like... but what we're gonna do is you're gonna look through this and you're gonna see is there a hole missing. Yeah. But you also can't keep something for a what if. Yeah. You can keep something if it has a ton of value. You're like, I know what I'm gonna wear this to and I just, have to wait for it to happen, but if you're just keeping it for a hypothetical. Oh, that's me. Then you're just like. I'm obsessed with this color, but it's like a thick, cur thick curly pile. Thick curly. Okay, so items like this, for example, that have collars like this. Yeah. Like I'm obsessed with because they don't make shirts like this anymore. So yep. I'm super like, what do I do? Because I want to keep them to possibly sell or just so that when my kids are around or my nephews are around, they're like, Wow, look at how they dress. I think it's good to keep ones like that that you can actually wear, so you're not just keeping it for no reason. Or we can make like a little box of things that are sentimental because the style is really cool, but keeping them on here and then not wearing them is silly because it's taking up valuable real estate. Okay, cardigans. These are really hard for me because I don't look good in cardigans, okay. but I always think like, someday I might. And this is like an old cardigan that I've had for like forever. This one, I'm like, it's so beautiful. They are, these are really, 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 really cool. But if you don't wear them, do you need them? I would like to keep them. Can you keep half of them? You know who looks really good in cardigans? <laughs> Big thing is a lot of people have a lot of pajamas. A lot of people have a lot of comfy clothes, like home clothes. Yeah, I don't own any pajamas. Really? I just bought my first pair of sweats in December. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. But go ahead. What do you me. hang out in? Um, uh, this. <laughs> you saw what I hang out in. You should get home. You should walk in your closet. You should feel like you love the way your closet looks. You should feel like you love the way you look and everything you have. Like that already makes me feel so happy. So we literally went from that being totally full with both sides out to this. How does that feel? It feels really good. Okay, so you've got some piles. These are jackets that we're keeping, but they're gonna be hung on wooden hangers, not on this rack. This is stuff 
to sell, donate, give away. And then these are gonna be folded. Yeah. So those are gonna go with the other folded things. And then these are more unique pieces that he likes because they're either sentimental or they're more like artwork. Yeah. So we're gonna limit those and make it so that he can still see them visually, but they're not gonna be mixed with his clothes that he wears because he doesn't wear them day to day. So next we're gonna do t-shirts and pants. Okay. All right, well here's a little bit more. <laughs> okay, so Is these... that all of them? No. <laughs> these okay. are my babies. If I were a garment, I would be a crew neck. Great, we're gonna go through them one by one, sit. Oh. <laughs> Anything you're 100% sure about, okay. put to your right. Anything you're not sure of, me. One, uh, I already have one of these. No, wait, it's a Raiders, it's a Raiders. Okay, what does that mean? So it's a hundred. <laughs> what, what makes it change? Raiders is like the Chanel sign, like in like sportswear, I would okay, say. Okay, great. At least for me, in Latin culture. Okay. Stripes, obsessed. Okay. Sand, love. This is, Sand, wait, love. this is the first sweater that I ever bought myself. It cost 80 something dollars and I was like 17 and I was like, wow, I just spent $80. But then Frankie bit the half of it off, so. All right, well, we can get rid of this. This I f***ing love. This How do you really feel about it? F***ing love it. <laughs> love Mickey. Mickey's banging. We have a few Mickey, though. Love, one's black and one's white. They're very Just different. Just two? Okay. <laughs> okay, so this one I actually don't wear as much, but again, it's like a beautiful piece. I haven't worn it, so maybe I'll put it in the, that pile. Yep. That I love, I'm obsessed with this. Okay. Obsessed with that, I forgot I own that. Okay, you already obsessed told me you're this. obsessed with that. I thought this one. Love that one. That the one? keeps getting bigger and bigger. So is this one. We're good. Yeah. They're both getting bigger. Blur it's okay. This. <laughs> Love this one. I got that one at Target. I don't even know why. Give me my mini bag, Target. This one is hard for me to let go because of this leather thing here. Why? Because I'm like, where do you see sweaters like that anymore? You don't, but. Oh my god, my feet are so dirty, by the way. I'm so sorry. <laughs> You're done. T shirts. <laughs> Let's get the t shirts. Ready? No. My grandma gave me these, but they don't actually fit. Let's make a pile of sentimental okay. t-shirts because that's easier. You can make those into a quilt or put them on the jean jacket or something yeah. like that. But I want you to limit how many. This one, I like, yes, I love this one. I love the collar. Yeah, I love that one. <laughs> okay, so if I was gonna fold in a drawer, I would fold it differently because we'd be file folding. But for purposes of the specific shelf we have, we cannot fold just like in half because it's not that deep. So we're doing a uh, altered kind of version of it where I'm still folding like normal here. Then I'm folding it over like that. So this is halfway through and then I'm cutting it. Wow. So what it does is it makes it so that it stands up so you can really see each shirt and it doesn't get too smushed down wow. together. Wow. Okay, so folding halfway mm -hmm. and then going over mm -hmm. and then doing Cut. this again. Yep. Did I Perfect. do that right? Yep. You just want to make sure you're doing them all the same width. This feels like I am in the thick of the storm, <laughs> and I'm like, it's going to get better, right? <laughs> it is. Ready to see your new closet? Yes, I'm ready. Wow, this looks great! <laughs> How are you even breathing in there? <laughs> <laughs> What's in this closet? So these are all pieces that Janelle did not make me throw away, that she understood that even though I don't wear them, I like to look at pieces. So this is stuff that's your collection, but the other room, your closet room, is everything you would actually wear so that yes. we're not mixing stuff. Down here, we've got a place for the steamer. So it's super easy to get to, but it's uh, not in yes, the middle of the room. Yes. Laundry, of course. Yes. And also suitcase. Wow, I just kind of feel like, what kind of life was I living before? Wow. wow. It looks sad. <laughs> <laughs> look at those hangers. Having a uniform look with the hangers seriously is such a huge part it of the It is, wow. Okay, ready to see your yeah. closet? Whoa! This is amazing. How do you feel? I feel so good. It feels like a room. So the biggest thing in a room is, especially a room that you're turning into a closet, is that you want to use the vertical space. Before you had the really big clothing rack here, remember? Mm -hmm. And switching to the double hang that's a lot higher mm -hmm. really use, that utilizes that space mm -hmm. rather than the width of it. Mm -hmm. And then we were able to add these bookshelves that we repurposed. 
So we did it by color and we did it by style. So these are all t-shirts. And then over here you have all of your crew necks and sweatshirts. <laughs> it, you just come in here before it was like, oh, it's a room full of clothes. Whoa. It feels like a shop That's or something. That's what I said. It feels like a store that you want to go. Take this. Put it back the way it was. <laughs> and then over here you have all of your jackets. So everything is in one place. It's really yes. good to have all of the things that are the same in one area. And now the big question, where are your pants? Wow. I love that. So they're all folded by color. Yes. And the one trick about this piece of furniture, you really love the vintage stuff. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. the problem is that it's not always functional. Mm -hmm. There's no double open. So you mm -hmm. can't actually access the shelf space right here. Mm -hmm. And so you just have to use the center. Well, what was something that you came across with Curly that you noticed how he like keeps things? Yes. Or... So Curly, <laughs> he loves everything. Obsessed with that, I forgot I own that. But it's Does it serve you? No. I'm obsessed with because they don't make shirts like this anymore. The thing that I've learned about you mm -hmm. today is that you find beauty in everything. You do. Which is a really beautiful trait, mm -hmm. but I think it was paralyzing you with mm -hmm. the stuff that you have. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And part of it is also that you really love to, to get new things. You mm -hmm. love to find things. Mm -hmm. So I noticed that you're looking at a shirt and you're like, this color though. Yeah. It's like the <laughs> most amazing color and the person who designed it put so much heart and energy and love yeah. into it not being something simple and not being something basic. Mm -hmm, I think mm -hmm. it's a beautiful trait, but I think that was the thing that was mm -hmm. keeping it so that you were keeping everything. Yeah. So instead, try to distance yourself from that a little bit yeah. and look at it a little bit more black and white. Yeah. Like there was a sweater that you know you loved, so now it's easy to get rid of that <laughs> sweater because you know that she's gonna love it yeah. and give it a second life. Exactly. So do that rather than just throwing, you know, don't throw stuff away, but if you can't just donate it all, mm -hmm. and part of it is that you want to know that it's going to be loved, mm -hmm. find someone who will love it. I love that. I feel like the spirits in here love it. The energy is like... <laughs> I like, feel emotional. Yeah. Me too, yeah. I love, like seeing your plant for some reason next to your Sensimon. Yeah. I, I don't know, it's really beautiful. It's this, <laughs> is, this is you, Curly. Your yeah, this plant, is <laughs> Sensimon, and, and Spice, Spice Girls. Girls. <laughs> yeah, I know, they're so me. <laughs> See the before. Wow. Wow. You had these together and it looked so like clunky. Mm -hmm. And this whole wall, look at all of that's dead space. Yeah, and here too. Totally affordable. Mm -hmm. The only things we bought were two baskets, the two shelving units, mm -hmm. and hangers, that's it. I have so much anxiety <laughs> for my turn tomorrow. I think I have a real problem with like holding things that mm -hmm. are comfortable to me, like everything in my life. I'm a little more emotional on all levels. Yeah. Like I will take everything personal. So I'm just preparing you, tomorrow's gonna be a little seen it all. sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's okay. I mean, it is sensitive. I've, it's sensitive to everyone in a certain way. People just express it differently. Yeah. I'm excited for like the for the after. I wanna see the after, the before yeah. is just like, I don't know. See, the during is the best part. The crazy is the best part. Thank you that's so me. much, thank you. Thank you, this is amazing, you good? truly. Yes, good. I feel so good. good. Wow. Your help. I can't Thank wait to you. like be in here later by myself and just burn all my sage. You're just like, gonna like do the spins. Yeah. Spin <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, yeah. So it has officially been two weeks. Everything is in its place. I haven't changed anything at all. I'm not really the best at like folding and like up here. It's like getting a little big. The side is absolutely the same too. Like I've been really good at keeping everything good. It just saves time. Like I don't even need to think like. What am I gonna do? I just like, I'm like, yeah, I wanna wear a white t shirt today. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'm super thankful. Everything is so cool. Love it. I love it. I'm so happy she came in here. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. Okay, bye. I like to hold on to things that are comfortable. Don't embarrass me right now. <laughs> Take a deep breath. Should I read a portion of my childhood diary? Yes, I think you should. I have a journal so funny. Yeah. Wow, we did it. Look at this. <laughs>